is only war. What is up, gents? 40K Dirtbags here. We are doing a Death Guard review video. So a lot of the, the images and uh, data sheets have been leaked uh, prior, obviously, to Leviathan launch. And there is so much shit going on, on the internet right now. It is kind of crazy. Uh, a lot of Death Guard players are not looking forward to 10th edition. Me, on the other hand, I'm still up in the air about it. Obviously, I'm going to be playing Death Guard because there's a lot of Death Guard people on YouTube and they like watching videos and talking about it and shit like that. So and also you have to think about competitive players. So 99% of the people you're gonna read about online are gonna be people that aren't super competitive, they haven't played every single time. So they just kind of see what they see initially without the full release, and then they don't really think of like crazy combos that people haven't figured out yet. Uh, the number one Death Guard player who's in our Discord uh, messaged also right when it got released, and he, even he's a little bit upset about it. So it's like, we, I'm still going to wait till it comes out and fully test out the, the Death Guard. But with all the characters being able to join units, they're not able to join any unit. It has to be a specific unit. So we're going to go through each data sheet that we have available to us uh, to this day. This is on Monday, June 5th. Uh, so if anything gets released afterwards, obviously we'll talk, be talking about it in a different video. And we already did our Mortarian uh, review video. So that's actually already on the channel if you want to go check that out. I'm going to kind of bring it up in here, but it's not going to be a full review. Uh, so let's get into it. If you guys are new to the channel, thanks for clicking on the, on the video. Uh, if you guys want to go watch some more Death Guard content, uh, it's a ton of videos on, on the channel. Also join the Discord. And if you guys are part of our Patreon group, Dirtbag Nation, uh, definitely head over to Patreon if you guys are interested in supporting the channel after you checked out some of the videos. And you guys who are, are supporting the channel, thank you. I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. Uh, and I appreciate you guys very, very, very much. You guys are fucking awesome. All right, let's get into it. So let's pull up the um, the sheets. Uh, the first one that... All, all, most of these are new. I actually didn't do a deep dive into any of these besides Mortarian, the Terminators, uh, the Plague Burst Crawler, and like the ones I released the first day. All these other ones I gave a quick glance, so this one's going to be a full review uh, on what we have going on. So first one is the Plague Surgeon. I was super excited about this guy coming up in 10th edition to finally get a freaking res. Uh, Death Guard was like the only faction that didn't have any resing going on, which is kind of bull. Uh, yeah, I, I I was hoping we'd get like a 1 CP strat to bring him in. Now this guy does it automatically. But he can bring in uh, guys now for free. But the only issue is fucking Plague Marines. So he can't join a uh, Terminator unit. It has to be a Plague Marine unit, which is new. I didn't know they had specific units that they can join uh, in Death Guard yet. So Plague Marine units is the only unit that can be attached. But you can attach different leaders per squad. Not exactly sure how many leaders you can, if it's like one plus or if it's a maximum of two. Somebody let me know in the comments below if you can have more than two. All right, so if we can get over, you know, three or four units, we'd have to have a 10 man Plague Marine unit. Uh, I wish we can do 20. That would be fucking insane if we just have a 20 man Plague Marine blob with all these characters in it. All right, so he moves five, toughness five, save as a three plus, uh, four wounds. And leadership six, obsec one. He's got a plague bolt pistol, which has lethal hits, automatically wounding on a six. Only one attack, range 12, ballistic skill three, four. All right, so not it's gonna be not gonna be a huge <laughs> offensive dealer. Uh, the bail sword though is uh, four attacks, strength five, AP two, two damage. So the sword, I mean, it is a cool sword on the model. So the sword is gonna be doing some damage in combat. And these are his special things. So he has the leader aura uh and while a while this model is leading a unit in your command phase you can return one destroyed bodyguard model in the unit so basically you could bring back one plague marine every single turn so you're going to get back a couple extra dudes now i guess this stacks if you have multiple plague surgeons like if you have one plague surgeon in each unit then i guess you can bring back technically you know, one per unit. So you can bring back three Plague Marines each time. So that might be an option uh, for some units is bringing back uh, just a ton of Plague Marines. Uh, and then at the end of your movement phase, you can select one friendly Death Guard infantry character. Now, if this was just heal at, uh, Mortarian every single time, this would be really, really cool. But at the end of the movement phase, you can select one friendly Death Guard infantry character model. Death Guard Infantry character. Wait. Select one friendly Death Guard Infantry 
Or character infantry character model within three inches of this model. That model regains up to three lost wounds. Each model can only be selected by this ability once per turn. Mm -hmm. You can select one. All right, so you just basically heal a character model. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and that's it. So that's our Plague Surgeon. Uh, again, I maybe bringing a couple of them would be cool. And I don't know. Let me know how many you can actually bring. Because it doesn't really have a limit. It just says you can bring more than one character. All right, so that's our Plague Surgeon. He's he's cool. You can now bring shit back. I could wish I wish it was Terminators, but it's only Plague Marines. Then we got our Foul Blight Spawn. This guy was in almost every single list before. Uh, he had the Fight Last ability within three inches. He got a buff now. So the Plague Spewer. God, this, uh, this is super blurry. <laughs> but uh, it basically has... Auto wounding six uh, strength seven AP two two damage. So it was AP three before with two damage. Uh, close combat weapon four attacks hitting on four one damage. I have to I have to get a clearer picture. This is too fucking blurry. Okay, so I just searched for the blight spawn, and of course it is the same thing where it's not as uh, clear, but. It gives us the fight first ability. That's that's all I can see here. So while this model is leading a unit, models in that unit have the fight fight first ability, which is kind of huge. But you can only bring it in plague marine units. So again, the terminator units aren't going to have these leaders. They're going to only be in plague marine units. So plague marine units being able to have fight first and bringing one guy back is definitely going to be a good combo. Uh, who knows if you can actually have multiple units, multiple leaders leading a unit. Uh, let's say you have three plague surgeons in one 10 man, 10 man uh, <laughs> plague marine unit with this guy leading it. Uh, the close combat weapon is not as good, but again, the flamer is really good. It auto hits uh, anti-infantry two plus, and then uh, whatever that fucking word is. I, I, I don't know. Somebody let me know what that, what that word is right there. So the plague Marines is the only one that's going to be leading. So that plague Marine is going to be able to have fight first. Now, when the unit charges you, the defender gets the fight first or fight, choose the one that gets, that has the fight first ability. So you're going to be able to fight if a unit charges your plague Marine unit, which is, which is huge. Now it's kind of like the same as, uh, uh, the custody guys. Trajan, so Trajan has the fight first ability once per game. This guy, you just get it on the on unit for the entire game. So that unit has fight first ability every single time. So that's really cool. But again, if we can have a 20 man plague marine unit, that'd be even better. This is the first time I've seen the Death Shroud Terminators. They're my favorite unit in Death Guard. Uh, they have two to five plague marine uh, Terminators with the champion. Uh, they have the Gauntlet and the Death Reaper. So model is leading this unit silent sorry silent bodyguard while a character model is leading this unit each time an attack targets this unit if the strength characteristic of that attack is greater than the unit's toughness subtract one from the wound roll that's pretty cool so toughness is six so anything higher than strength six it's minus one to wound that is that's really good it's just it's almost like the the relic from chaos space marine which is just minus one to wound so anything that's strength six seven sorry strength seven greater than the unit's toughness. So strength seven or higher, it's minus one wound. And that's gonna be good for the characters that are leading this unit as well. Uh, it's anti-infantry on a four plus, ignores cover, uh, pistol, and automatic hitting. So basically everything stays the same. Still strength three, AP zero, one damage, D6 uh, things. I don't know if the champion has two of the Plague things, you might be able to upgrade it for free. But before the champion used to have two of the Plague Spurt uh, gauntlets. I don't know if he has one now. But the Man Reaper, uh, they both have lethal hits, so auto wounding on sixes. Attacks four, uh, the sweep is six. So we kind of lost half. It used to be eight attacks. Uh, and I believe the, the leader had five. So I guess they all have four now. Unless this isn't the champion so i'm not sure if like this is the champion profile maybe the champion has one more attack i'm not quite sure but they hit on two still uh strength eight on the overhead smash and ap2 two damage and the other one is strength five ap zero one damage so no devastating wounds maybe a character can give them devastating wounds but nothing crazy usually you're just gonna do the overhead smashes uh for the ap2 two damage lethal hits automatically uh wounding on sixes to hit 
Uh, and the Plague Spear, auto wounding on fours, not bad. So instead of wounding on fives with those, you're automatically wounding on fours, ignoring cover. Maybe we can get him at an AP zero. I mean, if you're if you're shooting down uh, from a ruin, you're going to be able to uh, get AP one. But these guys are too slow. They're speed four uh, to get anywhere. They still have three wounds, leadership one, one up six. So the tanky boys, especially with the minus one wound, that's going to help them out. But the losing the minus one damage is kind of big for death guard. So these guys still look pretty cool, uh, especially with their auto hitting pistols still. All right, and then we got the tally man. Tally man kept the same thing where in your, oh, so in your command phase, <clears throat> so it's not a command phase. So in your command phase, if this model is on the battlefield, so not in a tank, roll 2d6 on a seven plus, you gain one CP. Uh, while this model is leading a unit, each time that unit makes an attack, add one to the hit roll. So it's on shooting and melee attacks, plus one to hit. So again, he can only lead plague marine units. So all these guys, uh, he used to be able to give out plus one to hit to a unit. Uh, so you'd be able to give it to a terminator unit. Now it's only the plague marine unit. Uh, and it's plague marine. So it says you can attach this model with plague marine unit even if one or other leader unit has already been attached to that unit. You cannot attach more than one of the same leader in the same unit. And if you do, if you do, and that bodyguard unit is destroyed, so then the leaders kind of split off into their own units. So he's got a close combat weapon, nothing crazy. He's got the plasma pistol like he did before, um, hazardous, and stain hits D3. Okay, so speed five, toughness five, three up save, four wounds, six, one up six. So everybody else is basically the same stat line. But the only difference is, is in your command phase, before it was in the command phase. So this guy actually got nerfed a little bit to get our one CP back. So maybe if they roll a seven plus to try and get one CP, not sure if it's gonna be a must or guarantee uh, to bring this guy every single time because there's been games where I've missed out on five straight turns of not rolling a seven on both turns. So this guy's kind of up in the air. If you definitely want to get plus one to hit with the uh, Plague Marine unit, uh, you can. If they're a shooting unit, uh, it's going to help out. If they're a melee unit, obviously it's going to help out. But that is definitely a good buff with the unit that you're trying to bring him in. Depending on the points, if this guy is going to be kind of a, a guarantee. And again, if you bring multiple of these guys, maybe it stacks twice in your computer phase if this model is on the battlefield. So, like, can I do this with multiple <laughs> tally mans? Let's, let's, maybe. All right. So, the, fl uh, bloat drone uh i looked at this guy the other day he's got the heavy blight launcher which is pretty much the same as before six attacks hitting on three strength eight ap2 two damage um i'm not sure if it was strength eight before it might have been strength six but it was ap3 two damage uh so i think the strength eight basically wounding on hitting on threes wounding on twos uh the lethal hits are auto wounding uh, auto wounding is definitely going to help out with vehicles, uh, AP2, 2 damage, and the Plague Spear, which is the two uh, flamers, like the uh, bio flamers. Strength 6, AP1, 1 damage. It's only D6 attacks, but I think he has two of them, so he's two of those. So 2 D6 attacks, strength 6, AP1, 1 damage, 12 inch range. He is speed 10, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, toughness 9, so he gained additional toughness. 3 up save. Wounds 10, so he gained more wounds, leadership 6, and counts as 3 on the objective, so that's pretty good. Uh, he did lose, though, the Heroic 6. I don't know if that's going to be a stratagem, but this model is eligible to shoot and declare a charge the turn it fell back. So being able to have fly, I believe, as a keyword, if he still has fly, uh, he can fall back and shoot, fly over units and shoot. Um, charge still, if he gets in combat, he has the Plague Probe, uh, which has three attacks, hitting on three, strength six, AP one, one damage. Or if he has the Flesh Mower, he gives up on the shooting attacks, but the Flesh Mower lethal hits, uh, 10 attacks, lost out in two attacks, used to have 12 attacks. Uh, hitting on three, strength seven, so if he has the minus one toughness, you're still going to be wounding on twos for infantry, uh, because they go down to toughness three, your strength seven. Um, AP one, so lost out on AP as well with two attacks, but he has two attacks now. So he has the flesh mower and the plague 
probe as an attack. So technically he has 13 attacks, just not as many damage to attacks. So I, th I still think this guy is really good. He's our fastest like moving unit that you can bring. Uh, again, I, I kind of had one or two of them behind Mortarian when I was running them up the table. So that way they can heroic six inches. Uh, and everybody has that heroic strat, but it's two CP. So two CP, you'll be able to kind of charge this guy in if you wanted to get that uh, heroic intervention going. So I'm not sure. Uh, if we're gonna have any other strats that's gonna help this guy out But he is tanky. He's got 10 wounds. Uh, he's got a 5 up invuln save toughness 9 Yeah, so he's he's still he's still a good unit for the death guard depending on the points uh, He did kind of get a, a little bit of buff with the melee and the shooting being able to auto wound on sixes range 36 which is really far strength 8 which is a buff Minus two, two damage. So he's just going to be mowing down Marines. If you want to shoot him out, shoot with them from afar. Or he's just going to kind of get to munch on the characters or infantry. Yeah, so he's still good. I still think the uh, flesh mower or the bloated drone is still really good. Then this everybody's talking about this online. So it's two CP uh, to bring back our minus one damage, which we just used to have this uh, innately. But in the fight phase, so it has to be the fight phase, can't do it in the shooting phase, just after an enemy unit is selected as targets, uh, one death guard unit from your army uh, that was selected as a target of one or more of the enemy attacks until the end of the phase, each time an attack is allocated to, the, to a model in this unit, subtract one from the damage characteristic. There is no minimum, guys. So if you use this and they have damage one weapons, basically you're immortal from all those damage one weapons. If there's um, lightning claws coming in that are like AP2, AP3, uh, all one damage, but they get rid of all wounds, you could just say, hey, I'm going to spend two CP. You don't have to roll. Just, just don't roll. It doesn't matter. Everything's uh, damage zero. So this is definitely gonna help out save uh, a bunch of attacks coming in on your guys. If it's a bunch of uh, damage two attacks, they're all gonna get turned to damage one. So this still is really, it's, it's good. We used to have it before, but now we have to spend two CP for one of our units to try and survive. So this is gonna be great uh, for Mertarian, you know, getting shot a, a shit ton or getting, sorry, it doesn't work in shooting, getting charged and getting uh, the minus one damage on all those attacks. So if you're just getting swarmed, uh, this is definitely gonna help out. So this is a cool strat to have in our back pocket. The Blight Haulers, everybody's saying these are, are decent now, but I still think somebody mentioned that the plus one to wound, which they get, uh, each time a model in this unit makes a range attack uh, against a vehicle unit, add one to the wound roll. So the strength on the weapons, Melta, is strength nine. So unless you're attacking like a rhino or something, I think even rhinos are toughness 10. Uh, actually, I have a rhino in here. What's the rhino? The imprints. Rhino, toughness nine. Okay, so anything on a rhino, you'll get plus one to wound, so you'll go from fours to threes. But all the other vehicles, most of the time, you're gonna go from fives to fours. <laughs> so, I mean, it's it's okay. Uh, Meltzer's used to be the, the boogeyman in the game. Now it's like, maybe, I mean, AP4 definitely is still one of the highest in the game, if not the highest. But Bile Spurt is a lethal hit range attack, range 12. Uh, it's equipped with a Bile Spurt, Missile Launcher, and Multi Melt Titan. So basically equipped with all of these. So they're all equipped with Bile Spurts. It's range 12, attacks 3, strength 5, AP 0, 1 damage. So auto wounding on 6s automatically. And then uh, Missile Launchers, strength 9, uh, AP 2, D6 damage. One shot or the multi melted two shots range 18 uh, melted two. So if you're within nine not 24 anymore, they reduced it to 18 uh, you get to do d6 Plus two melted two so d6 plus two damage AP 4 strength 9 weapon skill 3 two attacks each so Crushing claw uh, four attacks in combat weapon skill 3 strength 6 AP 1 1 damage so again, these guys are, are okay. Uh, they have the smoke rule, so that's gonna be uh, pretty hard to hit. So it's minus one to hit them if they use the smoke uh, and they get cover, so it's a combo now. So if you have a unit of three of these guys and you're shooting at them, it's minus one to hit them because they get stealth and they get plus one of their cover save. So they have a five up invuln save. Uh, they're saved three up, 10 wounds each, which is a lot of wounds. Leadership three and obsec three. So they are gonna be holding objectives hopefully for you. Um, Speed 10, so they're also pretty quick, uh, and toughness 9. 
So these guys, I think you'll see a bunch of them. Maybe Death Guard's going to be a lot of uh, demon engines. But having the smoke keyword is definitely definitely huge with these guys. Yeah, so I have nine of these guys printed up. So uh, maybe we'll put these guys on the table pretty soon. All right, and then we got Death Guard Demon Prince. All right, so this guy, did he get a buff? Uh, he is speed... Shit. He's speed seven. Speed seven. All right, there we go. So he's speed seven. Uh, he lost, I think, a speed. I'm not sure. I think there's Demon Prince with wings as well. Or do, do Demon Princes can... this demon? I know there's Demon Prince with wings on the Chaos side, but do Death Guard have Demon Prince with wings? So he's a monster. Uh, he's not able to go through ruins like the old one, um, but used to be able to put wings on him. Can you still put wings on the Demon Prince? Toughness 11, so he's super tanky. Two up save, that was huge, so they actually changed the save characteristic to two plus. Uh, wounds 10, so gained two wounds. Leadership 6 and 3 opsec. Uh, he's got the Plague Spewer, anti-infantry on a 2+, plus, ignores cover, tore it, so that's actually really good. Before, you you weren't able to take one if you had wings. I don't know if you could still take one. We have to figure that out. Strength 5, AP 1, 1 damage, uh, auto-hitting D6, and ignore cover. Auto-wounding on a 2+. Plus. So basically, on a 2+, plus against infantry, you're going to do strength 5, AP 1, 1 damage. And then the Health Force Swords gained a sweep attack, which we didn't have before. Uh, 14 attacks. So a little bit over double. Uh, weapon skill two, so hitting on two. Strength six, AP zero though, which is kind of depressing. Uh, one damage. So uh, the main attack though is gonna be six attacks, hitting on twos, uh, no lethal hits or anything in there. Uh, strength eight though, so wounding on twos most of the time. So if they're strength five, toughness five for Terminators, they're gonna go down to toughness four. Uh, strength eight, so you're gonna be wounding Terminators on twos at AP two, so they're gonna have a four up invuln save. Uh, and then D and then three damage. So you're just going to be nuking terminators. The aura, uh, grandfather's blessing. While well, friendly death guard infantry unit is in contagion range of this model. Models then unit have the feel no pain. Okay, six plus. So basically, this is the guy that's giving out feel no pain for your entire army. Uh, you have to be in contagion range. So contagion range turn one is three inches, then six, then nine. Uh, if they're within mortarians. Contagion range. Motarian has the option to boost contagion ranges by six inches. So he's going to be able to boost that contagion range to uh, nine inches on turn one. So everything within nine inches, now your Death Guard has a six up Feel No Pain ability. Maybe there's a way to get five up Feel No Pain uh, with a Relic or a um, Warlord trade. That would be really good. Being able to give your entire army a uh, five up Feel No Pain. So that would be a really good combo. Hopefully this guy is something, uh, I'm not sure, but if this guy can get us a 5 up feeling of pain, then a lot of Death Guard players are going to be loving this. Invuln save on a 4 up, so this guy is a 2 up 4 up, this guy is fucking tanky, holy shit. So 2 up, 4 up, toughness 11, uh, wounds 10, and a 2 up 4 up. Yeah, this guy is probably one of the best ones that they released. Yeah, hopefully you can put some crazy uh, relics and... and uh, Warlord traits on this guy. That'd be that'd be huge. Give us give us a five up feeling of pain for the entire army. Then everybody will freaking love this. Typhus, my boy. This is my favorite uh, Death Guard character. He's uh, speed five, toughness six, two up save, four up invuln save, wounds six, uh, leadership six, and one for opsec. He's deep strike. He's a leader. Uh, he can go into pox walkers. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Uh, Destra L terminators and blight lord terminators. So either terminators or pox walkers. Uh, anything else? No. So master web, uh, master crafted man reaper, lethal hits so auto wounding on sixes. Uh, he's got a sweep ability just like before. Five attacks or ten attacks, hitting on twos. Strength nine, which is really cool. So if they're again toughness six, go down to toughness five. All right, so not going to be that. I mean, eh. AP two, three damage. So he's going to be having kind of like the same as the demon prince. So six attack, strength eight, five attack, strength nine, AP two, three damage. So the Demon Prince is actually a little bit better because that extra strength is not gonna be a huge difference. And then he's got the sweep ability. Uh, this one has 10 attacks. The Demon Prince had 14 attacks, strength six, strength six. He's got AP one though. So the AP one is a, is a difference, but he's losing out on four attacks compared to the Demon Prince. 
What does he give us? While this model's leading a unit, uh, each time a melee attack against the, the unit, subtract one from the hit roll. So it gives your guys minus one to hit in melee. While this unit is leading a unit, each time a melee attack against that unit, subtract one from the hit roll. Okay, so all your poxwalkers, there's gotta be a way to bring poxwalkers back like insane, just having Typhus walk across the table with all these poxwalkers. Uh, in the shooting phase, you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches and visible uh, to the Psyker and roll a d6 on a one. The unit suffers d3, so the unit, so the Poxwalkers can suffer d3 or the Terminators. Uh, and on a two to five, suffer, wow, so it's a big smite, uh, targetable smite. It doesn't have uh, precision or anything. So just that unit takes D6 mortal wounds. On a six, D3 plus three mortal wounds. So this guy has now a targetable big smite uh, in the shooting phase. So it just happens on a two plus, you don't have to roll to hit. So on a two plus you take uh, two to five mortal wounds and on a six you take D3 plus three mortal wounds. That's pretty cool. So the type is, again, was my favorite uh, Death Guard model, so hopefully I can put this guy on the on the table, leading a unit of Blight Lord Terminators. I think the, any of the Terminators, but the one guy that we're going to go over is going to be really, really good in the Blight Lord, uh, no, Death Trial Terminator unit. So that's Typhus, and this guy. All right, so we went over this guy, uh, I think in the first video that got released because he was one of the first ones to get released, but um, he was from the Games Workshop page. So he's got the, in the shooting phase, you can select one enemy unit within 18 inches and visible to the Psyker. Uh, roll a D6 on a one, the Psyker unit suffers D3 on a two plus. Uh, until the start of your next shooting phase, each time the model in the unit makes an, a melee attack, subtract one from the wound roll. Hmm. So basically, you're able to target a unit 18 inches away and until the start of the next shooting phase, each time a model in that unit makes, an, a, melee, makes a melee attack, subtract one from the wound roll. So basically you're able to give out minus one to wound in melee, uh, just like the one Death Shroud unit has already. So that's actually really, really good. So minus one to wound in combat, uh, just targetable. You can select one enemy unit within 18 inches of visible to the Psyker and roll D6. So on a one, your unit takes T3 mortals on a two plus until the next start, uh, shooting phase, until your next shooting phase each time. All right, so it doesn't say you have to hit them, it just you have to roll two plus. So also this doesn't say you can, can you shoot somebody in combat with it already? Because it doesn't say that either. I don't know if in the core rules it'll say, because uh, in the shooting phase, can you target a unit in the shooting phase? That's, that's a question you guys. So can this guy shoot a unit that's already in combat? Because it's not a shooting attack. It just says select. So I'm, I'm pretty sure you can. You just select a unit uh, in the shooting phase. So I'm pretty sure this will go off. So if unit's already stuck in combat, or you, you know a unit's gonna be charging you next turn, uh, boom, that unit is now minus one to wound you. So that's actually helps out a lot. So having one or two of these guys is gonna be huge. Um, can you do this twice? In your shooting phase, after this model has shot, uh, if one or more of those attacks made with its Plague Wind scored, so this Plague Wind over here, uh, against an infantry unit until the start of the next turn, subtract two from the unit, from its move characteristics, and subtract two from the advance and charge roll. So we do have <coughs> Chamberlot, which is a Death Guard model only. Each on Banner's unit is selected as a target of an enemy charge. Until the end of the phase, subtract two from the charge rolls. So this is going to be a lot easier if I combine that with this. So it's a different keyword. So if it's minus four to charges <laughs> for that unit, that's huge for infantry unit, really. So it doesn't work for monsters or vehicles, but for infantry unit, it'll be minus four to charges. So this guy is going to be huge. It is only a 12 inch range, though. So you have to basically be 12 inches away, you have to shoot them, and you have to hit them, hitting on uh, auto-hitting. So of course it's gonna hit. Uh, and then you have the CP strat, where if they move up, so they're minus two to move, let's say their speed, I don't know, six, they go down to speed four, now they have an eight inch charge, uh, but now they'll have minus two, so they have a six inch, 10 inch charge. So basically they move up 
Wow, math. They're 12 inches away. They move up six. They're six inches away. So they have an eight inch charge, but then now they have a 10 inch charge. So if they're, ten, if they're 12 inches away and you do both these strats, they basically will have a 10 inch charge for you, which is, which is kind of funny actually. So this guy will definitely be a nuisance um, for an infantry unit on the other side especially in melee. Like if you have a 20 man blob that like a black Templar unit that really wants to get in combat, they're not, they're not going to be able to get in combat for two turns at least. Then it makes you just back up and do it again. That's, that's actually really cool. All right. So he's got the lethal hits, uh, but the plague wind is a witch fire torrent. So auto hitting strength four AP one D three damage. So if you're, if you really need to hit it's auto automatically hitting D six attacks. Uh, so that'll basically be this minus two to advance and charge and move. Then the Plague Wind, Wind Witchfire Hazardous. Uh, so the unit, I believe, will take the Mortal Wounds of Euro Ones. Uh, D3, D6 plus three attacks. Strength six, AP two, D3 damage. That's that's insane. Uh, lethal hits and Psychic for the that. It's D3 damage. It's like a four staff. Uh, weapon skill hitting on three, four attacks, strength six, AP one, one damage. So not bad. This guy's actually pretty freaking good. This is one of our best characters that we're going to be bringing in 10th edition. Uh, can put them in the following units for Plague Marines. So the Plague Marines can be uh, led by this guy. Wow. So imagine this guy, the uh, Tally Man, and the uh, Foul Blight Spawn all leading in the same unit. All right. Up next, we got Shambhala. We already went over, so you can do this stratagem. For subtracting two from the charge rules, uh, so that, again, that's just having one of the best uh, play companies that we had before in the entire army. So that's that's actually really good. And we got our Death Guard Rhino. Uh, so he is speed 12, so same speed, toughness 9, 3 up save, wounds 10, leadership 6, obsec 2. At the start of command phase, this model regains one lost wound, so that's pretty cool. Uh, combi weapon is the Inf infantry 4 plus devastating wounds, rapid fire 1. So within uh, 12 inches, you get two shots, hitting on fours, <laughs> uh, strength 4, AP 0. Uh, but mortal wounds on a four plus against infantry. Havoc launcher is blast, uh, AP zero, and the combi bolter, uh, which is lethal hits, rapid fire two, AP zero. So just basic armored tracks. Uh, I guess a lot of the vehicles are going to get this armored tracks ability. It's just three attacks, hitting on fours instead of sixes. Strength six, AP zero, one damage. So not bad. Uh, and then you can bring this model's transport ca capacity of 12 Death Guard infantry models and cannot transport Terminator, Cultus, or Poxwalker models. Uh, so I guess they increase the transport capacity for all the leaders that are going to be using it, uh, using it. So you have a 10-man and then two leaders that could be in that 10-man unit or two six-mans if you want to go like five-mans with leaders uh, leading it. But remember that if, if uh, the tally man is not on the table, you won't be able to do his ability uh, for the one command point. So having the 10 man with possibly the malignant playcaster uh, and the ballast, oh, they didn't even show the ballast speech fire. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to be as good uh, as he was in ninth, but everything else basically stays the same on this. Uh, yes. So that, that's it for this guy. Uh, Mortarian, again, we did the full deep dive on the Mortarian in the Mortarian video, so go check that out. Uh, I still think he's really good. Combing him with everything within, I believe, six inches gets cover now, even the vehicles. So your entire army is going to have cover uh, moving across the table. He's speed 10, toughness 12, so super tanky. Two up, four up, with a five up feeling of pain. So being able to get that two up save to AP zero attacks uh, and cover save, so he's going to be able to get AP two, ignoring AP one with the cover save. Uh, and a five up field of pain, he's actually really, really, really tanky. Um, unit within six inches can ignore any and all modifiers to characteristic uh, and any roll or test made for it. So he's going to be buffing your entire army within six inches of him, uh, just kind of walking across the table. So somebody was saying with the monsters, you can shoot both. Uh, so you can shoot Rotwind, uh, which is Blast. I just don't think you can shoot Rot Rotwind in melee because it's blast but you'll be able to shoot out because you're a, a monster so you can shoot the rot wind out uh and the pistol in yes so the pistol can shoot in the rot wind can shoot out uh lethal hit psychic devastating wounds yeah it's so he's gonna be able to shoot both one out at minus one to hit so hitting on threes and then one in uh pistol hitting on twos 
And the melee was a lot of people are kind of upset where he doesn't have as many attacks as he should. He's a monster. Like he's ginormous. I don't know why he only has five attacks. Uh, strength 14, AP 34 damage. He's got grenades. Uh, Psyker Fly, Character Chaos, Primark, Mortarian, Monster Death Guard. So he's just going to be holding objectives. He's got Obsec 6 on him. Uh, here's the thing. While within 12 inches, uh, add 3 to the contagion range of that unit. So basically your Demon Prince, if you're within 12 inches of this guy, Demon Prince is going to be able to have the extra 3 inch for contagion ranges for the five, for the 6 up Field of Pain. And, and again, hopefully he can bring something that has a 5 up Field of Pain, plus 1 to Field of Pain rolls, something like that. That would be huge uh, for the Demon Prince. So Demon Prince with the Mortarian and a couple of characters, that's probably going to be your list. Then we got the Blight Lord Terminators. Uh, these guys, movement four, so super slow, uh, but they still have the deep strike, so that's fine. Toughness six, two up save, four up invuln, uh, wounds three, leadership six, one opsec. He's got the Blight Launcher, um, two attacks, 24 inch range, strength six, so same strength, I believe. Uh, minus one, so lost in AP, and then two damage. Uh, combi weapons. Uh, plague combi belt, uh, bolters, plague spear, and reaper auto cannon. Uh, the chaos space ring one I think has a three damage one. Ours are one damage. Uh, devastating wounds though, so four attacks. Uh, hitting on three, strength seven, AP one, one damage, but it's devastating. So anything six is to wound is going to be able to do a mortal wound. And everything else is kind of just anti infantry. Yeah, hopefully we get free weapons again. Uh, Plague Marines, maybe get three free weapons. Blight Lords, hopefully get free weapons. Each time a model in this unit makes a range attack, if that target is close to the eligible unit, reroll the wound roll of one. So, random. <laughs> uh, maybe if you're deep striking and you just have the closest unit, you're gonna be able to reroll all the ones uh, to wound. And the flail is six attacks weapon skill three strength five ap1 two damage and the blades are all so there's no axes it's just blade uh four attacks each strength five ap2 used to be ap3 uh, but one damage so just terminators kind of tanky lost the minus one damage and they're super slow so being able to deep strike these guys in are going to be probably your go-to Uh, you can bring, so everyone's equipped with a combi bolter and a bubonic blade. You can have up to three models, for every five models, up to three models, plague combi bolters can each be replaced with one combi weapon. One blade lord terminator combi bolter can be replaced with the following, one blade launcher, one reaper autocannon, uh, and then place with one plague spearer. Okay. Place with one combi weapon. So basically you can bring two flails, two plate, it's kind of like the same, two two flails, two plague spewers, two blight launchers, and the rest just combi weapons. Yeah, so all combi weapons and the rest everything else. So when I was run, when I was running my 10 man, it was just all combi weapons. Uh, combi melts, combi plasmas, combi flamers, the flails, and then the spears and blight launch. So basically, it's, it's all the same thing. Cool, so that's them. This guy is the one I was talking about. If he's equipped with uh, blight load terminator or death shroud terminator, you're going to get to reroll all the range uh, wound rolls. So while this model is leading a unit, each time a model in that unit makes a range attack, you can reroll the wound roll. Um, so again, I'm, I th I'm thinking of putting them with the death shroud terminator, so that way the uh, Anti-infantry four plus, uh, you're gonna get to reroll all the wounds. If there's a way to kind of increase the um, AP on those, or I think they ignore cover, but you increase the AP on them or get devastating wounds somehow, there's gotta be a combo in here somewhere where if I can reroll all the wounds, I'm gonna be able to reroll all those auto-hitting pistol uh, D6 shots. Each time a friendly Death Guard model uh, makes an attack with a blast weapon that targets a unit that is visible to this unit, add one to the hit roll, uh, and the attack has ignore cover ability. So this just says each time a friendly Death Guard model makes an attack with a blast weapon that targets a unit that is visible to this model. That's really cool. So this guy, he's line of sight to that target. Let's say you're um, 
your uh, is the plague crawler blast yeah so all, all the plague crawlers if <laughs> if this guy has a line of sight to him you're gonna get to add one to the hit roll and that attack ignores cover so it doesn't ignore cover here so now your mortar is gonna be able to ignore cover so that's a really good combo uh, the blast weapon right here let's say you bring two or three plague crawlers uh, plague burst crawlers they're all gonna be able to ignore cover so they're gonna be hitting on is a plus one to hit add one to the hit roll so if they're standing still, they're not heavy, but they're gonna get hitting on fours back to threes if they don't see you. Uh, and then they're gonna get to have ignore cover. So the AP1 is actually gonna be able to do something. Enter file lethal and auto wound. All right, so that's really cool. That's, that's the crawler. Is there any other major blast weapons that we have that I'm missing? Blast. Rotwind is a blast attack, so that's really cool. So copying that with there. Devastating wounds. Lethal hits psychic. So that's gonna help out with shooting out of combat because he's gonna get minus one to hit uh shooting out of combat. But this guy gives you plus one to hit and ignores cover. <laughs> so him with Mortarian, really good combo right there. Uh anti-infantry on a two plus. Ignores cover, turret, and twin linked. Twin linked, I just read that the other day. Twin linked is you can reroll the attack wound roll. Nice. So this guy's gonna get to reroll all the wounds on an, on an anti infantry uh, two plus. So d6, reroll the wounds, uh, auto hitting, strength five, AP one, one damage. He's equipped with that's it. Just so just one uh, plague spear. Toughness six, six wounds, uh, so kind of same as uh, Typhus, uh, four up invuln, no rerolls besides the wounds. So that's this guy's gonna be really good. Combining with people, heavy plague fist, lethal hits, so five attacks, hitting on three, strength eight, AP two, two damage. So pretty good in combat. So I'm gonna combi him with some Death Shroud Terminators, deep striking in, getting line of sight on something you really wanna blow up, uh, and then everything to hit that, that target, or target anything that he sees, is going to get plus one to hit uh, and ignores cover. Pretty good. So I'm definitely going to bring three play burst crawlers, this guy, and probably Mortarian, and some Terminators. All right, so we got the blast, indirect fire. We already went over the play burst crawler in our uh, original video, but you're going to be able to auto battle shock people. So that's going to be huge, especially bringing three of these guys. So D3. D6 plus three with blast. So almost always you're guaranteed five hits on this attack because it's three attacks if you roll one uh that's a minimum of four but with blast anything on uh five models or more you're gonna get plus one so it's basically a minimum five shots per plague burst crawler uh hitting on threes indirect fire so you're hitting on fours but if you're uh, within range of that one guy you're hitting back on threes again strength eight ap1 two damage ignoring cover now if you're if that one guy sees you then the plague spitter Anti-Infantry 2 is only range 12. Uh, most of the time we're gonna be the ent Entropy Cannon. So it's, is it two Entropy Cannons? Probably, right? Because this only has one hit. So maybe two Entropy Cannons, two attacks, uh, strength 10, AP3, D6 plus one damage. Movement 10, so I think it gained two inches. Uh, toughness 10, two up save, that was that's huge, that's a big difference. Two up save, five up inbound save, wounds 12. Leadership six and four obsec. And armor tracks, uh, same as the rhino, three attacks. Yeah, so I think this guy is gonna be <laughs> huge. So three of these camping out in the backfield uh, is, is, yeah, 48 inch range, indirect fire, blast. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. All right, Plague Marines. Uh, didn't go over these guys yet, but Plague Champion uh, can be replaced with one of the following. The Plague bolt pistol plasma gun or plasma pistol plague champion plague knives can be replaced with one of the following a bubonic weapon uh, or one heavy plague weapon then every five models in unit one plague marine bolt can replace one blight launcher so you can have two blight launchers in a unit uh plague marine bolt can replace with one plague spewer okay so now you can bring two plague two blight launchers and two plague spewers uh one plague marine bolt can replace with one of the following one melted gun one blight Plague belt launch, okay, or plasma gun. So melted guns or plasma guns uh, for every five models a unit, up to two plague marine unit can blow one bubonic weapons. 
and two plague marines can have their plague bolt gun replaced with two all right so let's go over the heavy weapons here we go so plague knives here are the heavy weapons so they, they lost their cleavers which were d6 i don't think they can bring flails anymore which kind of sucks uh, i have to get rid of all my flails and all my guys i had six seven eight, i had like how many fucking i had six units two each i had like 12 flails on my plague marines all right uh bubonic weapons so heavy plague weapons hitting on fours so three attacks hitting on fours uh they'll get plus one to hit if the tally man's in the unit strength eight ap2 two damage so you'll have a bunch of attacks of those uh bubonic weapons. so these guys aren't going to be hitting as hard as they did before so while this unit is a range of objective marker you control each time you take a battle shock test for the unit, add one to the test. So this guy basically passes on a five plus, these guys. So on a plot five plus, you'll be able to uh, do the tests. Speed five, toughness five, three up save, two wounds, opsec two. Blight launchers, uh, 24 inch range, two attacks, strength six, AP one, two damage, so they're still pretty good. Melty guns, range 12. Uh, plague belcher, so the, just the flamers, no AP on those. Bull pistol, bull gun, plague spewer. Okay, so you bring, you bring two plague spewers. Plague weapon. Okay, so the plague belchers, which aren't really going to be, they're just kind of like regular flamers. So you'd probably rather, rather bring the plague spewer. Yeah, so two plague spewers and two blight launchers. Uh, plasma gun, two plasma. So, right, so basically you bring three plasma guns. Yeah, so three plasma guns, two blight launchers, two plague spears. But if you're going to be trying to hit from afar, at least 24 inches, you want to bring all 24 inch guns. So plasma guns, AP3, two damage. Uh, plasma pistol. Hmm. Yeah, so these guys are still probably going to be used, uh, just not as like the melee threat that they did before because they used to have the flails on them which were like 12 attacks ap2 2 damage uh and then the heavy cleavers which were three attacks hitting on fours ap3 d6 damage so these guys damage output got reduced by a lot um so they're going to be used kind of in a different sense of maybe just holding objectives but all the characters that we have can only be used in these units so you're going to have to be using 10 man units of these to bring the characters or five man units of these and bring the characters just for kind of like backfield objective markers so hopefully they're cheaper than they were before because they lost the minus one damage they lost the melee output uh and you kind of have to bring them to bring uh characters so Five man units, if you want to kind of just be on the backfield for a tally man, uh, or 10 man units and just load them out with a shit ton of guns uh, and some melee weapons. Yeah. Because they're not really going to be fleeing. They're hopefully not going to be failing their battle shock test because they need to roll five plus to, to do that. All right. And then we got our foul blight spawn. We already went over this guy. So, uh, so this is a lot clearer. There you go. Fight first ability and can only be in plague marine units. So. Again, you can only bring these guys, these characters if they're in Plague Marine units, but that Plague Marine unit has to fight, for, fight first ability. Okay, uh, Plague Bearers for Chaos. I didn't really want to go over these because I didn't really care about them. So this is my initial thought. I think this guy is going to be really good. Him comboing with the uh, Death Trail Terminators. Uh, I think the Plague Bearers Crawler is going to be really fucking good. I think the Blight Lord Terminators are going to be okay. Uh, they can still bring the Flails uh, and, and stuff that Plague Marines used to have. It just depends on the points and who you're going to be combing with them. Uh, Mortarian, I think, is going to be super fun to try out uh, initially. I'm, going to, I'm definitely going to be trying out Mortarian. The Rhino is going to be great for dropping off units. You can only bring, you cannot transfer Terminators, but the Terminators are probably going to be deep striking anyway. Uh, and with the transport rules, they're going to be able to be move, so they're going to move 12, and then the guys can get out and shoot. So figuring out ways to kind of combi that, they're going to be pushing your fucking guys across the table. So their speed 12, so the movement 12, guys are going to be able to get out and still shoot, not charge, but still, that's a huge movement with your speed five characters. Uh, Obsec two, so if they go on, go on objectives, um, remember, I think if the vehicle blows up, you are automatically battle shocked. So try and remember that for your guys getting out. 
Shambalot's going to be great for the charges. This guy combing with the Shambalot, he can only be put in Plague Marine units, so this guy has to be in a Plague Marine unit. But him getting out 12 inches and then shooting something uh, 12 inches away is going to be great. So that combo, 24 inch threat range from this guy getting out of a Rhino. Yeah, so Plague Marine, Plague Caster, and one other guy, maybe the Plague Surgeon or the Fight First guy. Yeah, because the Tally Man can just be uh, on one of the backfield things. Yeah, the Tally Man can just be trying to get you CP. I, again, I don't know if you're going to be needing the Tally Man because it's only in one turn now. So you have five chances to roll a uh, 7 plus to try and get a, a CP. So I'm going to have to test it out. Hopefully he's reduced in points. This guy I still think is going to be good. I think uh, Death Guard is going to be a Demon Engine army. This is going to be pretty, pretty clutch. Uh, if you're going into a shit ton of attacks with one damage. Uh, these guys, hope maybe we can run nine of these guys. But they, they have a three up save. Death Guard Demon Prince is going to be amazing. So hopefully we can get a five up Feeling of Pain. If we can get a five up Feeling of Pain, I'm going to bring these guys as fast as I possibly can. And Typhus, again, still pretty cool. He's got the targetable uh, big smite. And you can put him in a unit of Poxwalkers. So he's probably the only one that can be led by Poxwalkers. Or him leading Poxwalkers. And what else? Deathstrike Terminator, still love him. Deep striking in, uh, re-rolling all wounds because of the one leader. Uh, and subtract from the wound roll. If while a character model is leading this, this unit, each time attack targets this unit, it's strength characteristic. So uh, it's just an attack. So shooting and melee, they're minus one to wound. Pistol, ignore cover. Okay. So if you deep strike these guys on the second floor and they shoot down, <laughs> they're uh, ignoring cover, but they're AP one uh, with, the, with the shots from five inches above. But again, they're only speed four, so you're gonna have to move down three inches and over one. So they're not gonna be really fast. So if you're gonna do it, you have to somehow figure a way to get down and then charge afterwards. And then the Foul Blight Spawn can only be led by a Plague Marine unit, um, but the Fight First ability. So having maybe this guy and the Malignant Plague Caster in a unit would be a good combo because then he can get out as well from the rhino and then shoot 12 inches so you just have a lot of shots coming out of this rhino so move up 12 all the guys get out and just unload uh on a unit and then when they clap back uh if they charge you you get fight first but they're already minus minus two movement and you have a, a cp strap for minus two charges so you're probably not going to be able to get charged so if you kind of want to ignore the fight first and just go more offensive um you can do that and just hopefully you don't get charged because of the minus two amount. So maybe this guy. So Plague Surgeon and the Malignant Plague Caster in that, uh, in that Rhino. Because if, if you guys do get shot, he then can bring a, a guy back to extend the, the threat range. So in your movement phase, the guys move up. At the end of the movement phase, you bring a guy back uh, within three inches of this model. That model. All right, so that's that. So while this model is leading a unit in your command phase. Okay, so basically in your command phase, you just bring a guy two inches forward, uh, stay in coherency, and that's an extra basically two and a half, three inch threat range uh, from the guys being dead. So that's gonna help out with some threat ranges with the Plague Surgeon. And that's it. So what do you guys think? Uh, after this review, I don't think they're bottom tier. Some of you guys might disagree with me. I think this guy right here, uh, just change the the note for us and this guy right here changed it for us so there's got to be some combos uh, stuff that we're not seeing that they haven't fully released yet relics stratagems all the stuff to really get the combo going uh, I I, I, I still love Death Guy. I still am going to run him. I'm going to try try some games, especially with Morty. Morty being able to be on the table and giving everybody a cover save. Uh, and he can be hidden behind uh, objectives or ruins now. So he doesn't have to be shot turn one. You kind of put him behind something and that way he can't be uh, targeted turn one. He's fly with speed 10, so he's able to kind of launch out and do something. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited. I, I can't wait. I'm glad they showed more of these guys to kind of ease our burden a little bit but just just get your guys ready get three plague burst crawlers get this guy 
uh, have your Mortarian ready, have the Death Shroud Terminators ready, uh, and the Plague Marines, maybe a 10-man unit to 10 to maybe 20 Plague Marines. Demon Prince, get your cool uh, Night Lord, or not, wow, not Night Lord, Death Guard Demon Prince is ready. And probably one or two of these Bloat Drones. And that would be my initial, oh, and this guy, get this guy. I, th I think he's going to be used uh, in 10th edition. And this guy, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's that's my uh, that's my thought, guys. What do you guys think? I think it, I think they're not as bad as people are, are complaining about. I'm excited to use them. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit subscribe and uh, follow us on uh, Patreon if you guys want to support the Dirtback Nations. Head, head over to Discord and join us on Facebook as well. I post all these videos uh, ahead of time on Patreon. So if you guys are new to Patreon, these are going to get posted first unless they're the same day releases. Like if something gets released and I really want to talk about, I'll just post it on YouTube really quick. But most of these are going to be posted uh, on Patreon first. So Patreons get first access. If you guys are interested in Dirtbag Dice, that's sold on uh, Discord as well as the objective markers on 3D6 Wargaming. Uh, and the stickers, if you guys are interested in stickers, they'll be sold with the Dirtbag Dice. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for clicking on the video, and we'll see you in another video soon.